Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Today we're going to check out the linear actuator. This thing came out of the treadmill. Um, it's 110 volts, 120 volts AC. So in order to control this thing, um, and what I'm worried about is that when this thing gets to the top or gets to the bottom, depending on what I want to do with it anyway, it may bottom out or top out and cause damage to the motor, cause damage to the gears that are in the bottom of this, or whatever. So, um, let's check out how this thing operates. Here we've got our ground, we've got red wire and black wire, those are both our hots. Our white wire, that's our neutral. Um, and basically one of these, the black one, I, we'll, we'll go with the black one, um, we'll do forward, the other one will do the reverse. And then at the same time, here are our control wires. What are these for? Well, let me show you that. So when we take off the bottom cover of this, and I've already unscrewed these, you can see the control wires, which are blue, orange, and brown, go to this potentiometer. What that does, it's connected to the gearing on this, and as this motor turns, it will turn this potentiometer which will change a resistance in those wires or for the current through those wires and you can actually read that. The Arduino, you hook it up to it, you can see a reading on it. So, <clears throat> or at least whenever you have it connected to your computer as well. So you can see the reading on that. So you can use that reading to operate, you know, when it gets so high you can turn off the motor or whenever it gets so low you can turn off the motor and that'll keep it from bottoming out or topping out on this which keep from damaging anything in here so let's go over our issues with connecting this thing to the Arduino and what I've run into so far alright so our AC motor it needs to be controlled by a relay so they can switch it on and off the relay we actually have one that came out of the treadmill um, we can use it problem with that is it's 12 volts DC to operate. Granted, it can have the, the current going through it that it's switching uh, at 120 volts. Actually, I think it even goes up to 220. Um, but 12 volts. So our problem with that is the Arduino, it can only handle or can only output 5 volts. So it's not going to be able to operate this. So we need a separate power supply for the relay. Um, the to operate the relay or the current going to the relay for that power supply uh, we need NPN transistor um, those things are actually found one in something that I, was, that I kept here and uh, but that right there will actually switch the Arduino can switch it it can switch and pass through the voltage for a relay and that way the relay can switch and pass through the voltage for the motor and it sounds really complicated and it kind of is. I've just spent all day long trying to go through, rack up my mind how to do that. And, uh, but I think I've come up with a, 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 I think I've come up with something to work. Uh, I'll put a link up here for, uh, for the video that I watched that had somebody doing something similar to that. And uh, I kind of used his design. So we'll go with that and we'll see how it works.
All right, so now that we've got our components, this is how we put them in here. And again, look at the link to that video I said. Um, that way you can see the wiring for this. Um, you can look at mine as a reference, but I actually got that from him. So go to his website or go to his, uh, his video to watch and see the wiring diagram for this. I, I, I toiled over it for a long time before I finally found his, and it was so much simpler. So check that out. So we've got our diode here that we got out of there. We've got our transistor here. We've got our resistor right here to help protect the Arduino. And, uh, and then we've got our 9 volt power, power supply for the Arduino. We've got our relay. And then these go to our 12, 12 volt power source for the operation of the relay. So let's hook it up and see what happens. Alright, so we've got 12 volts over here going in here to power this relay. As soon as we fire up this, the uh, it will fire up the Arduino, which is controlling the resistor here so that we get it to open up and then control the voltage to the relay. So we plug it in, and sure enough, this is programmed to every two seconds it will turn on the resistor which is then turning on the power to the relay and you can hear the relay clicking over so every two seconds it'll either turn off or turn on and just to emphasize that we'll get the multimeter and we'll show the resistance between these two wires here which would be going to whatever it is you were powering so we'll show that All right. so the multimeter's on we've got it switched to uh, continuity and Every time it goes, every time the relay fires, it will beep. So that means it's making a connection, now it's not. Making a connection, now it's not. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff um, as far as that linear actuator because I really don't have a use for it. Um, but I'm going to play with it. That's the whole idea of this, just to get through here and play with it. I mean, these things are really cheap parts. Um, so now we've got the potentiometer can send a signal to the Arduino. You can program the Arduino to take that reading and now through all this, turn on and off the relay, depending on how you want it to do, and that way you can actually safely operate that up and down versus or on the uh, based off of the readings for that potentiometer so now we have out of these two wires we'd have our 120 volts that we need to operate the motor We've got a way to control it everything should be in theory working out um, so now all I need is a switch um, I'm looking at a rocker switch turn it on one way or turn it on the other way um, but whenever it rocks to the middle it will be off um, and as soon as I get that then I will have my forward and reverse for this motor then we can wire it up with all this stuff and we test it out and play with it and see what we can do with it but um, I'll show you how in the future how to hook this thing up to the Arduino so that we can actually get the readings off of that potentiometer show you what it looks like on the computer and, uh, and go from there so hopefully you guys found this helpful uh, if you have any questions about it, send them my way. I can't guarantee I can answer everything, but I could definitely try. Or maybe we can uh, look together to try to find the answer. That way, uh, that way anybody can do this stuff safely. Just uh, for everybody wondering, just make sure anytime you're dealing with the, especially the 120 volts or higher, definitely make sure you're doing that safely. If you don't, if you don't understand it completely. Then, uh, then don't do it at all because it can be deadly. So anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely come back and see what else we can do with this. Um, this is not the only project I'd like to do with this if you haven't watched the other video. All right, for everybody who's still watching, remember I'm giving away one of these Arduinos, um, the whole kit and everything. So you'll have exactly what I started with and uh, hopefully you can follow along and build some projects just like I am. But go to the... Uh, whichever side it is, go, go up here to the link, 
go and do what it says in that video and uh, and then shortly well before too long I'll be giving one away and you can follow along and do what you want with them anyway we'll see you next time